We have now arrived in our very basic and cute Airbnb in Dubrovnik after a very long ride through Croatia to get here. So from Plivitsa this morning, I think I've got all these names right. It took us about five and a half hours to drive here, but the view was just something else. I had no idea Croatia looked like that and it made it go really fast. It was so impressive the whole way around. But now we're here in Dubrovnik, as I said, and it's this beautiful seaside town and it looks like something from a movie set. I'm not gonna show you around the Airbnb because it's just basic and small, but enough to keep us cozy while we're here. But the view is really lovely. You can see the whole of the old town, which is mostly what we're gonna be exploring while we're here. So that's it for today and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning from the most beautiful view. Unfortunately, it's so bright though I can't open my eyes. I'm gonna do a little outfit check because clearly I was not prepared for it to be 21 degrees. So this is what we got going on. A lot of winter clothes that I'm trying to make into a summer outfit, 21 degrees. <laughs> We're just getting ready now to head out for the day and have a look around. It honestly looks beautiful. I'm gonna be hot though. We just read a blog that says you should have ice cream every day here and to be fair, when we were walking around yesterday we saw literally every single person having one so that is what we're going to do as our first thing for today. Get an ice cream, we're searching for the best ice cream place right now. They should have here. Ooh. There's been so many Game of Thrones like merchandise stores around, so we were like, they must have filmed it here, and it turns out they did. That's what we're looking up right now to see like the locations. But walking around, I feel like it definitely has that feeling. Any like little road you walk down, you're like, it could it could have been here. It definitely has that feeling for sure. They were talking Ooh. here too. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, right, right here. No. Those stairs. Yeah, 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 those yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. I'm gonna film the stairs again in that case. Yeah. that basically just goes around the entire city and you can pay to go up there which we looked into and it's about 200 which is very very expensive so we've been debating whether to or not i'm not sure if we will because that is a lot of money but it does look pretty like there's just people walking all the time past so you you get some nice views but yeah i don't know if i can justify paying like 20 something pounds really an entire winter wardrobe but I packed this <laughs> little bucket hat funnily enough for the flight I had no intention or thought I would have to wear it anywhere but it's coming in handy I love that we just stumbled across like this little bar 
he has his bear. He said this is the best place you could ever get a bear because it's true. Honestly, stunning. Unbelievable here. Wow, look at that yacht. There are so many boat, like cruises, tours, everything around here. So we decided for today we're going to go on a glass boat. It does like a little tour around the island. I'm not sure exactly where, but we're going to get to see it all. That was a really quick five minute boat ride to get here. This is Lockram Island. This just looks like a beautiful place. And after looking into it, there is a lot of really cool things to see here. So we're gonna be here for a few hours. We're also gonna go swimming for the first time since being here. So that will be fun too. Dead Sea, but after seeing all those little plants that can sting you, I think I'm gonna pass. <laughs> and also, apparently, it's really cold as well. But you can't float on there? Yeah, no, he's sinking. <laughs> actually the main beach there. I chickened out of getting into the water. <laughs> I'm not surprised though. I'm a bit scared of the sea anyway and fish and we were saying it's quite dangerous really because it's just rocks everywhere so it is a little dangerous and apparently like the sides are clear like the water is really clear right but once you get to the middle it's just like pitch black <laughs> so who knows what's in there. No thank you. Anyway we're gonna walk around a little bit now explore more of what they have here. I feel like that's pretty much it though, right? Mm -hmm. We'll see. Let's have a little walk and then head back. You can do it. I'm about to go in. I'm in my little sports <laughs> wear <laughs> because I don't have any swimmer and this is what I randomly bought for the hot springs back in Budapest, so. <laughs> it looks funny, doesn't it? Never mind. All right, let's go in. I didn't get any footage because that was bloody freezing. The moral of the story is just look at it because it's a lot prettier <laughs> rather than going in. That was quite painful. Wow, it looks so pretty behind me right now. Wow, just look, just look. a surprisingly smooth and actually enjoyable cable car ride so we took it up to see these incredible views of the city as well as these mountains and hopefully be able to see the sunset from up here as well we're hoping that's really really pretty
to film before we delved into our pancakes, but this is our morning little brunch for our last full day here actually. We're leaving tomorrow, so making the most out of everything before we go. enjoying our last night here for sure it's very very pretty at night time as well it's all lit up and I haven't showed you that so I'll be showing you a lot of that because it just completely changes the look of everywhere but first dinner <laughs> dinner we're heading to a restaurant called Lady PP and we actually went there a couple of nights ago so this is the second time we'll be going but that is because it was that is <laughs> I can't talk but that was because it was such a nice place and he actually said it's the best restaurant he's ever been to in Europe like this time or ever 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 yeah. That's a massive statement. So that's how good it is. So we're gonna go back and try some different dishes that they have there. Getting a bear? I'm gonna get ginger bear. I liked that last time. 